This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Norton Security. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. You probably remember about a year and a half ago, Project Arwa was making a lot of news in the tech industry. It's basically a modular cell phone. So they have this exoskeleton or basically this frame and you can add in different modules for cameras and batteries and LTE or just adding different capabilities like NFC and you can swap out your display. A lot of different customization options. Well, they're on Spiral 2, which is the basically the second official phase uh, of this project. And some of the modules that are in this new Spiral to include a 720p display, a light and proximity sensor right above that display, and also uh, blocks for 3G and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the battery, the camera, and also a choice between a Marvel or an NVIDIA processor and also a USB module so you can be able to charge and sync the phone. So again, this is basically the second phase into getting into a, a, an actual consumer product uh, for this new concept. So as you can see, they're making some really good progress with this phone, but they're already teasing us with what is going to be in Spiral 3. Now Spiral 3 is going to have 4G LTE. It's also going to have contactless data transfer between modules and also it's going to be bringing better battery life and also uh, the ability to put the, the antennas, the antennas actually inside of the backbone of the phone so they don't take up another module. And little things like that are trying to make this phone compete with what all the other major phones are doing on the, the market right now. But this phone is going to be good for developing countries and also it's going to be great for everywhere else because it's a phone that can grow with you. So it's a phone that you can buy for a very low base price. At least this is the thought of it. And as you start to use the phone more a year from now, you may not necessarily need a faster processor or need a better display, but you may want a better camera. So you can go buy a new camera module for 30 bucks or 50 bucks or however much it's going to cost instead of having to buy a brand new phone. So this is what they're trying to do. And this is going to be a very, very, very hard road to be able to get to that point uh, because they have to work out price savings, they have to work out getting enough modules coming from different manufacturers so the consumer has a choice. And so from all these videos and pictures that I've been showing you, you can see this thing looks really legit right now. And they're gonna be starting a pilot program for Spiral 2 in Puerto Rico. So people will be able to actually get their hands on it and go ahead and try it out. But we're still a little bit of ways away before we see this in the rest of the world. Uh, but I can probably see this thing coming out in as early as a, probably a year and a half from now if they really keep this pace up. Uh, but again, they have a lot of different hurdles to, to overcome. And also too, they have the general public to try to convince them of why they want to get a modular phone but I think they can do it and they've already convinced me that I really want one so ultimately is this the future of cell phones nobody knows just yet it's really too early to tell but this is a great option to have for people who don't want to keep spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars every two years just to feel like they need to keep up with everybody else and their cell phones but if they just want to upgrade the battery upgrade the the speaker or the camera they can do that just for 30 or 50 bucks and be satisfied with it so anyway guys it's just an update on project Aura. leave your comment down below what you think about this modular cell phone concept which is becoming a reality and thanks for watching this video guys and i will catch you later peace